Welcome to Tech Toys 360, your VIP access to the most innovative toys of the 21st century. We scoured the globe to bring you the best in technical gadgets, super distinct products, and uber powerful vehicles, from the progressive to the inspiring. So sit down, strap in, and prepare to experience the latest in tech toys. On this episode of Tech Toys 360, discover the ultimate water toy that takes flight. A biometric reading wallet, an ultra-luxurious RIV, cutting electronics for your ski goggles, and the latest hang glider that will keep you soaring for hours. For thousands of years, man has had the overwhelming urge to fly. With the advent of inventions as diverse as planes, helicopters, and hang gliders, those dreams have been fulfilled. Somewhat. For the ultimate flying sensation, man has looked to the jetpack. The jetpack is a self-contained flying device that allows the wearer to hurtle through the air at tremendous speeds in total control. From Raymond Lee, the genius behind JetLev Technologies, comes the world's first and only water-propelled jetpack the JetLev R2000. The JetLev R2000 is designed for fun and entertainment using a revolutionary water propulsion system allowing its user to soar three stories high. This technology is brand new cutting edge. Um, the inventor wanted to give people the experience of being airborne, but being very safe at the same time. This unit um, has a flotation device within it. As long as you don't have fear of heights and as long as you're not afraid of the water, anybody can fly with this technology. The JetLev is a harness weighing a mere 30 pounds that allows the wearer to zoom 30 feet in the air and achieve a top speed of 23 miles per hour. The jet lev is powered by cutting-edge technology featuring water propulsion. While strapped into the five-point safety harness, the user engages the control arm throttle to lift off, propelling a powerful stream of water through the hose to the harness. And off you go. There's never been a water-propelled jet pack of this kind. The way it works is dragging behind the actual unit that's strapped to your back is a floating vessel. Within this floating vessel, there's an automatic water pump, there is a 26-gallon fuel tank, and there's also an engine. And this attaches to the jet pack with a 33-foot nylon hose that's 10 centimeters in diameter. So basically, the water is shooting up through that hose and is being propelled through these nozzles right here, which is what gives you lift and what gives you the speed. This is a 255 horsepower engine. You get up to 420 pounds of thrust, and the fuel tank can let you ride for a good three to four hours. By locating the engine and other necessary equipment in the tethered vessel, the JetLev pilot is free to maneuver about the skies with only the super lightweight harness. The thrill is like nothing you've ever felt. I think almost everyone has had dreams of flying or wanted to fly. Uh, when you first get up in the air, it's a surreal feeling because you're completely weightless. Weighing a mere 30 pounds, the JetLev is comprised of an aluminum and stainless steel harness that features nylon webbing safety belts, a padded seat, and built-in trapeze for your feet. Completely safe for even novice users, the R2000 is easy to fly after only a few minutes of instruction. The device's speed and height are manipulated by the control arm throttles and simple upward or downward movements by the wearer. I'll maneuver my flight with these control arms. If I want to shoot up high in the air, I can lift them up just a few inches. The nozzles will move down, the water will propel out. If I want to go fast, up to 23 miles per hour, I can slowly inch my arms down and pick up speed that way. If I ever do get into trouble and start getting out of control in my flight, this lovely kill switch here, I can pull it at a moment's notice and I will be dropped into the water, so it's very safe. 
speeding through air, taking sharp turns, this cutting-edge technology delivers the ride of a lifetime. The jet lev is designed specifically for water sports enthusiasts. So if jet skis seem tame and parasailing no longer provides a rush, this water-propelled jetpack will keep the adrenaline pumping while you soar effortlessly to new heights. In a security-based world, from passwords to advanced encrypted code, we try in every way to protect ourselves from those who seek to steal our valuables, or worse, our identity. Statistics don't lie. Identity thefts make up approximately one-fifth of all the consumer complaints and cost consumers millions of dollars per year. Thefts occur on every corner of the globe, from airports to city streets, striking anywhere at any time. And when it comes to personal and financial information, our everyday wallet is a viable target. Often purchased based on style, fashion or convenience, the data inside our driver's license, debit and credit cards to our personal information is an extension of our identity. Everything a thief needs to have a payday or perhaps a lifestyle change, thanks to you. In this age of identity theft, one product tackles this issue head on. The iWallet. The iWallet uses the latest in advanced technology to protect your most personal yet vulnerable information. The iWallet is, is a high-tech cash and credit card wallet uh, where only the owner can have access to his belongings. So let's say you have your credit cards, your cash, your driver's license, all inside the wallet. With a swipe of your finger, with your fingerprint, it'll read it and it'll open up and only you have access to it. When Steve Kabuli had his wallet stolen during international travel, the idea for iWallet was born. About 10 years ago, uh, I was at a busy airport in South America, in Argentina, and one guy just bumped into me and uh, I realized that he stole my wallet. Uh, I couldn't believe it. it was so quick. The patented biometric reader locking system syncs only with the wallet's owner to protect against unwanted access. The owner registers his fingerprint via the accompanying software by simply swiping his finger on the iWallet. The iWallet reads and registers this through an innovative biometric finger reader, allowing this identification as its only mode of entry. The biometric locking system is just one of the tricks of this uber-cool device. The iWallet is constructed out of the lightest yet most durable carbon fiber, or fiberglass. We have two models, carbon fiber and the polycarbonate. Carbon fiber is lighter, um, and it also shields against RFID technology, which is what thieves use in nowadays to steal your uh, credit card information. The iWallet's accompanying application downloads to your smartphone, linking the two together for further safety. If your iWallet and cellular phone are more than 10 to 15 feet away from one another, a loud alarm will sound. The iWallet costs $395 to $595, a small price to pay for your identity. With an automatic biometric locking system, super tough protective case, the iWallet is the first line of defense against personal and identity theft. Coming up next, Tech Toys takes to the seas with the Wahoo's latest RIB. And the latest technology hits the slopes. In your goggles? Splashing down in Hampshire, England, we find ourselves at the home base of Wahoo Boats, creators of the Barracuda Rigid Inflatable Boat, or RIB for those in the know. A rigid inflatable boat is a lightweight but high performance and high capacity boat constructed with a solid shaped hull and flexible tubes at the gunnel. With its stability and seaworthy design, RIBs are quicksilver fast devils that outperform most types of similarly sized power boats and the Barracuda leaves all other RIBs in its wake. 
while RIBs are highly effective as rescue craft, safety boats for sailing, or tenders for larger boats and ships, the Wahoo Barracuda is a breed apart. The Barracuda is a thoroughbred race boat re-engineered for luxury. It's the brainchild of businessmen Paul Holland and Julian Wilmot. We caught up with Wilmot in Monaco. This is the uh, Barracuda uh, Wahoo uh, 10 metre. Um, it is specifically designed for the seabiot market, uh, with them in mind for carrying people uh, in comfort and at speed. Wahoo's masterminds believe the Barracuda's monster performance, coupled with an exceptionally luxurious on-deck experience, have created a new standard in the super yacht tender. What inspired me to create this boat was to uh, provide something to the captains of, and owners of these super yachts, because every boat we will build um, for their personal requirements, so they, they will design the boat around their needs. The Barracuda was developed from a family of race-winning powerboats. It features a deep V-hull, designed by the world-acclaimed marine designer Lorne Campbell, the genius behind a host of incredible race machines. It's a semi-rigid inflatable 10 metre. The actual hull is 9.2, um, very fast, very smooth and well-balanced boat, uh, and excessively dry. The Barracuda is powered by two supercharged Mercury Varados engines, each producing 300 horsepower. With a mind-blowing top speed of 90 miles per hour, it is hard to imagine that the Barracuda's jaw-dropping power and acceleration can be achieved so quietly and smoothly. She will do up to around about 70 knots in the right conditions and, and in the right hands, but she will cruise uh, all day long at uh, 50 knots uh, with eight people up on without any problem at all. Like all the best powerboats, it's not just about straight-line performance. The Barracuda handles the sea incredibly well, without the bow-up attitude so common on powerful RIBs. She tends to flatten a lot of uh, sea conditions out, so when you do become airborne, she comes down and lands very kindly and smoothly, so you don't feel jarred through, the, uh, through your knees or anything else. The Barracuda is not all beast. It has beauty too. The driver and his co-pilot are cosseted in a pair of racing seats straight from the cockpit of a supercar. Up to six passengers can recline in the comfort of highly padded U-shaped bench seats fore and aft. The Barracuda is constructed of time-tested glass fiber materials and weighs in at a robust 2.6 tons. Each Barracuda is customizable and can be produced by Wahoo in a mere 15 weeks. For those seeking an unrivaled adrenaline-filled experience, the Barracuda will cost £138,000. From its twin racing seats to its teak decking and sumptuously upholstered passenger seating, the Barracuda oozes quality and performance. It's a grand tourer of the oceans. Born of an inspired collaboration between forward-thinking companies, Recon Instruments and Zeal Optics, comes the world's first GPS-enabled goggles with a head-mounted display system, the Recon HQ platform. The Recon HQ platform is a quantum leap forward in the practical application of micro-optics display, or MOD. Transcend is the world's first uh, GPS and heads-up display integrated goggles for skiing, snowboarding and snowmobiling. No longer the exclusive territory of fighter pilots, the Recon HQ platform's virtual visible display combines sleek graphics, smart optics, and an unobtrusive feel in high-end goggles for use by skiers and snowboarders. With three years of research and development, the Recon HQ platform evolved into the world's first and foremost medium for performance-enhancing data. The idea was spawned out of an entrepreneurship course at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, Canada. So we knew it was a challenge to shrink the technology down to a form factor that would make it easily integratable into a set of standard goggles. The Recon HQ platform is light, easy to use, and will in no way inhibit the user's peripheral or front vision. There's a battery on the left side uh, with a cable, adjustable cable to the main engine. Uh, and in here, this is where you basically have the, the electronics, the GPS, and all the different sensors. It's a really easy assembly. It takes about 10 seconds to snap fit into a pair of goggles. This is the Recon remote. Uh, it's uh, wireless, it, has, it operates uh, using Bluetooth. So uh, you can mount this on your wrist, your goggle strap, your backpack or your belt. Uh, and this way it makes it really easy, easy to navigate our, uh, our dashboard. 
Recon is the ultimate solution for those seeking cutting-edge technology that provides real-time data and metrics in fast-paced environments. And it doesn't get much faster paced than plowing down the side of a mountain at 60 miles per hour. The first time people try this on, they're blown away. Every time. Uh, and they go, wow, you know, I didn't, had no idea you could do this. Because most people think when there's a display right in front of their eyes, they think, okay, how can I actually focus on that? But the way we've created the image uh, makes it really easy to read. There's a micro-optics uh, display in the bottom right side corner of the, uh, of the goggles. Uh, so that's, it's completely unobtrusive for, for what you're doing. The image appears if, as if it's uh, five feet out in front of you. So it's this augmentation of the image. You don't have to shift focus to actually read the data, which you would normally have to do if you put a display in front of your eyes. When you're ready to read the data, you, you can then glance down at the display and get the information without having to shift focus. Uh, so it's like driving a car and you want to look at the, sp at the speed in the dashboard there. Recon provides real-time feedback, including speed, latitude, longitude, altitude, vertical distance traveled, total distance traveled, chrono stopwatch mode, a run counter, temperature, and time. And then we have different other sensors, uh, like an accelerometer, uh, which can detect your jump air time. So it automatically detects when you take off and when you land. Uh, and then, then it will run a clock to determine how much time you spent in the air and how long a distance you've covered and how high you've jumped. Simply, it's the best friends serious skiers and weekend warriors can have if they want to know everything from how fast they careen down the slopes to where their friends are located.